Things are always better than they seem to be when we remember that God is by our side. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Jennifer Benson Schultz. Don is a border collie who lives on a farm in South Lanarkshire, Scotland. One morning he and his owner, Tom, set out to check on some animals. They rode together in a small farm utility truck. When they arrived, Tom left the vehicle but forgot to put the brake on. With Don in the driver's seat, the vehicle rolled down a hill and across two lanes of traffic before it stopped safely. To watching motorists, it appeared the dog was out for a morning drive. Indeed, things are not always as they seem. It seemed as if Elisha and his servant were about to be captured and carried off to the king of Aram. The king's forces had surrounded the city where Elisha and his servant were staying. The servant believed they were doomed, but Elisha said, Don't be afraid. Those who are with us are more than those who are with the enemy. When Elisha prayed, the servant was able to see the multitudes of supernatural forces that were in place to protect them. Situations that seem hopeless are not always the way we perceive them to be. When we feel overwhelmed and outnumbered, we can remember that God is by our side. As Psalm 91 says, He can command His angels to guard us in all our ways. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from 2 Kings chapter 6, verses 8-17. through 17. Now the king of Aram was at war with Israel. After conferring with his officers, he said, I will set up my camp in such and such a place. The man of God sent word to the king of Israel, Beware of passing that place, because the Arameans are going down there. So the king of Israel checked on the place indicated by the man of God. Time and again, Elisha warned the king so that he was on his guard in such places. This enraged the king of Aram. He summoned his officers and demanded of them, Tell me, which of us is on the side of the king of Israel? None of us, my lord the king, said one of his officers. But Elisha, the prophet who is in Israel, tells the king of Israel the very words you speak in your bedroom. Go, find out where he is, the king ordered, so I can send men and capture him. The report came back, he is in Dothan. Then he sent horses and chariots and a strong force there. They went by night and surrounded the city. When the servant of the man of God got up and went out early the next morning, an army with horses and chariots had surrounded the city. Oh no, my lord, what shall we do? the servant asked. Don't be afraid, the prophet answered. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And Elisha prayed, Open his eyes, Lord, so that he may see. Then the Lord opened the servant's eyes, and he looked and saw the hills full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. That's today's scripture reading from 2 Kings chapter 6, verses 8 through 17. Let's pray together. Dear God, please give us a glimpse of your power today. Help us to believe that you are willing and able to help us in any situation we encounter. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by our Daily Bread Ministries.